It's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best bad guy names in movies. Personified in this case by an audible cunt. Me. For this list, we've sought out the villains in film with names that strike fear in their enemies and reflect the evil their actions perpetuate. You should admit your situation. There will be more dignity in it. We are also taking into account the extent to which these names and the characters that hold them have cemented their places in pop culture. This town deserves a better class of criminal. And I'm gonna give it to him. Number 10, Hans Gruber, Die Hard. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. There's just something about German names that make them great for the bad guys. Touching, cowboy, touching. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Some may say it's because of World War II and the Cold War, but we like to think it has something to do with Hans Gruber. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? In this action flick, Alan Rickman redefined the modern villain, rejecting the cat-stroking, mustache-twirling bad guy archetype, and instead portraying a character with deep layers of extreme intelligence and sinister brutality. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. Give me the code. The name Gruber translates to mean hollow, which we think accurately describes the hollow pit where this bad guy's heart should be. Now when filmmakers look to make a villain, they'll often look to Hans Gruber. Happy trails, Hans. Number nine, Kaiser Soze, The Usual Suspects. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he did not exist. In this film, the only thing we really know about Kaiser Soze is his name, which begs the question, is this guy even real? There is no Kaiser Soze. The answers we receive as the mystery crime thriller progresses only increase our intrigue, as nobody can identify this villain, but all fear him. I'm telling you it's Kaiser Soze! Legend has it he killed his own family rather than give in to Hungarian mobsters, but we'll never really know. Well, I believe in God. And the only thing that scares me is Kaiser Soze. With this bad guy, you're left in the dark. But the name is enough. Who's your boss? I work for Kaiser Soze. Number eight, Sauron, the Lord of the Rings franchise. The Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. This Dark Lord holds the most feared name in Middle Earth, even in death. <laughs> In making the One Ring, Sauron forged a connection with the ring that kept his spirit alive, even when he was struck down and apparently killed by Isildur. But the power of the ring could not be undone. As long as the One Ring lives on, so does Sauron, and his relentless pursuit of domination. The light of the even star is failing. As Sauron's power grows, her strength wanes. Word of Sauron and his menacing forces sends waves of terror through Middle-earth, forcing most to flee rather than fight his impending evil reign. You cannot escape his all-seeing eye. The eye of Sauron now turns to Gondor, the last free kingdom of men. Number seven, Judge Doom. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Remember me, Eddie? When I killed your brother, I talked just like it's pretty rare to see an animated movie villain reduce audiences to tears, but Judge Doom manages to get the job done. I'll catch the rabbit, Mr. Valiant, then I'll try him, convict him, and execute him. This guy is crazy scary, yet somehow he became the all-powerful judge of Toontown's District Superior Court. Since I've had Toontown under my jurisdiction, my goal has been to rein in the insanity, and the only way to do that is to make Toons respect the law. Judge does exactly what his name suggests, bringing doom to the citizens of Toontown, regularly sentencing them to death by way of the dip, when he throws them into a chemical vat and watches them melt. Turpentine, acetone, benzene. 
calls it the dip. To think, he does all of this just to build a freeway. When the guy leading your town has a name like that, you better not slip up. No matter, the rabbit won't get far. My men will find him. Number six, Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty. Listen well, all of you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most evil one of all? In this Disney animated classic, the answer is definitely Maleficent. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Her name literally means capable of evil, and this character likes to demonstrate her menace through, you guessed it, death. Now shall you deal with me, O oh Prince, and all the powers of hell! The mistress of all evil curses Princess Aurora to die on her 16th birthday just because she wasn't invited to the christening. Touch the spindle. Touch it, I say. Insecure? Maybe. But regardless, this witch is ruthlessly determined to spread evil. Of course, her name was a fair warning. Next time, save yourselves the trouble and invite this wicked witch. I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. Number five. Freddy Krueger, the A Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. You'd better not fall asleep, because the most famous man in horror is coming to get you. Come to Freddy. We love you, Jason Voorhees, but there's a reason everyone knows the name Freddy Krueger. He is terrifying. <laughs> Your worst nightmare. Freddy is beyond scary to look at, as he sports a melted, burned-up face. You also can't hide from him, because he kills you from inside your dreams. And no matter how hard you try to resist, you have to sleep at some point. <laughs> the best we can do is wish you luck, and hope you escape an encounter with the biggest, baddest name in slasher movie history. Ugh. Help me, please. Save me from Freddy. Number four, Lex Luthor, the Superman franchise. This is Lex Luthor. Who I am. Only one thing alive but less than four legs can hear this frequency, Superman, and that's you. This guy's real name, Alexander, actually translates roughly to defending or protector of men. And in a perverted way, he may think that's what he's doing. But millions of people will die. Billions! Once again, the press underestimates me. Through his actions, however, Lex Luthor actually does the exact opposite. In trying to rid the world of Superman, the real defender of men, Luther believes the ends justify the means and deliberately harms the people of Metropolis, all in the name of helping them, of course. Hi, hello, Lex, it is a pleasure. Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You should not pick a fight with this person. One of the top supervillains of all time, Luther's name has now been cemented in pop culture history, representing the ultimate rich evil genius. I told you. Number three, Lord Voldemort the Harry Potter franchise. All right, Voldemort. Voldemort. The Dark Lord, you know who? Tom Riddle, he who must not be named. This bad guy has plenty of names, but the one he's most known for is the one that puts the fear of death in almost every wizard, Lord Voldemort. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. The leader of the Death Eaters, Voldemort is hell-bent on ridding the wizarding world of muggle blood. Harry Potter. The boy who lived. His first attempt failed thanks to the Potters, but he left behind a bloody trail of bodies that nobody has since forgotten. Afterwards, no one had the courage to say his name, save for Harry, in fear that he would come again. That worked out well. He's back! He's back! Voldemort's back! Number two, Dr. Hannibal Lecter, The Silence of the Lambs. Good evening, Clarice. There are plenty of names that will scare you, but Hannibal Lecter is the one that will send shivers down your spine. Wow, well, Clarice, have the lambs stopped screaming? Lecter projects an air of elegance and even care, but beneath the surface lies a demented serial killer, going so far as to wear the face of one of his victims. We got him on lactated ringers running, and, uh, and the uh, patient is on 10 liters of oxygen. But Lecter's true sinister beauty lies in the nickname he was made for, 
Hannibal the Cannibal. He literally dines on his victims, with some fava beans and a nice Chianti, naturally. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. They're heading for the canyon. They're going back to the Citadel. Me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me and he says, why so serious? I don't think you really deserve this. I practically gift wrapped those cubs for you and you couldn't even dispose of them. No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to kill anybody. Well, my little pretty, I can cause accidents too. Right, okay, people, you have to tell me these things, all right? I've been frozen for 30 years, okay? Throw me a frickin' bone here. I have a small surprise from your friends back at the barracks. You think I've gone to heaven? <laughs> Not yet. Number one, Darth Vader. The Star Wars franchise. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. Kylo Ren is a pretty badass villain name, but his hero, the original Star Wars villain, takes our top spot. Escape is not his plan. I must face him alone. Darth Vader roughly translates to Dark Father in German and Dutch, according to George Lucas, which kind of makes his name a spoiler in retrospect. Good work, Commander. Leave us. Conduct your search and bring his companions to me. He is the perpetuator of evil and darkness as he serves the Galactic Empire. Whatever his name is supposed to mean, though, it became known as the most feared moniker in the entire galaxy far, far away, and is now probably the most well-known name of all movie villains. I have you not. Do you agree with our list? Wonderful. Couldn't have said it better myself. Which bad guy do you think has the coolest name? Throw down the gun and give me my detonators. For more frightening top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. For the first time in 16 years, I shall sleep well.